The Atoni also known as the Atuan Mato or Dawan, people are an ethnic group on Timor, in Indonesian West Timor and the East Timorese enclave of Oekasi Ambeno. They number around 844,030. Their language is Uab Mato. The Atoni live in villages consisting of 50 to 60 people, each village is surrounded with stone fence or shrubs, with fields and cattle cages on the periphery. The houses usually form a circular cluster, or following the road after the introduction of a road. Spatial symbolism According to ethnographer Clark Cunningham, their culture is notable for its spatial symbolism, associated with a gender dichotomy. Male-female principle is important, as with the duality of sun-earth, light-dark, open-close, dry-season-wet-season, outer-inner, central-periphery, secular-sacral, right-left, and so on. This in turn affects the spatial configuration of an Atoni house. The right side of the house facing the door is always male, whereas the left is female. The center of the house and the attic is male, while the periphery of the house is female. The interior of the house is female, the terrace is male. The house is female and the yard is male. This principle conceived the Atoni house as a microcosmos. The house also expresses social order. A more elaborate house is called Ume Atoni. Atoni means male. The house is dominantly male in quality. The Atoni entertains their guest in a communal house called Lopo. A lopo is always located in front of a house and is oriented to the road. Furthermore, each cardinal direction is associated with a gender, as are different parts of a house. Sex and gender do not always line up, as an important lord is called a female man, and is accordingly always a man, but performs stereotypically female duties. Topic. Eponyms Topic. A species of skink, Aramias sinkus antoniorum, which is endemic to Timor, is named in honor of the Antony people. References Literature Clark E. Cunningham, A Tony Borrowing of Children, An Aspect of Mediation, in, Spiro, M. E., ed., American Ethnological Society Proceedings, Annual Spring Meeting, Seattle, 1965. Clark E. Cunningham, Categories of Descent Groups in A Timorese Village, in, Oceania 37, 1966-13-21. Herbert W. Jardner, Textilian Dura Tony. Variation in Inas Stills in West Timor, Unpubble. Magisterschrift, 1988, Köln. Herbert W. Jardner, Die Quan Fatu Chronic. Form und Kontext der Mumlichen Dichtung der Atuan Mato Amanuban, West Timor, Verifenlichungen des Seminars für Indonesische und Sudsiesprechen der Unsiversidat Hamburg, Band 23, Berlin und Hamburg, 1999. Herbert W. und Hydrun Jardner, Einschfangen Faden. Textile Versierungstechniken in West Timor, Indonesian, Austronesia BD.1, Herausgegeben von Rainer Karl und Peter Pink, 2, Neu Berb, und ERW. AUFL, Hamburg, 1995. Andrew R. McQuilliam, Harvest of the Nakaf, A Study of Headhunting Among the Atoni of West Timor, B.Lit.Thesis, Australian National University, 1982. Andrew R. McQuilliam, Narrating the Gate and the Path. Place and Precedence in South West Timor, Ph.D. Thesis Australian National University, 1989. Schulte Nordholt, H.G., The Political System of the Atoni of Timor, Verhandeling and Koninklijk Institute 60, 1971. External links Media related to Atuan Mato at Wikimedia Commons